we're back with a recap. Hey, we're back with a recap. Yes, I'm in the same outfit as last week. And you're gonna see me in this outfit next week because I'm making sure I'm getting these recaps up on time, people. And next season, your recaps will be on time. I have a lot in store for you guys next season. I'm excited. You only got one episode left. So, yes, everything I do gets bigger and better. Season three is gonna be a movie. But we still in season two. Are you all caught up before we even be talking about season three? Have you watched, have you listened to season one as well? Because everything is good, everything is great. But let's get into it. Baby, I've been making plans featuring the Gladdens. Lovely. I was at their apartment and I filmed it. And you know, <laughs> I knew when I was doing a marriage episode. First of all, let's get into the marriage episode. I was supposed to do that episode season one. I didn't do it on season one because I felt like, um, and, and they don't believe me. They think that I tried to play them and didn't put them in season one. Season one was an introduction to me. I say that all the time. And I felt like, um, having a couple on season two was like more of a bang. Like I, I have a married couple, even though people do that all the time. But I felt like for me, it was like a, a growth in the podcast if that makes sense like oh i got a married couple up there you know what i'm saying so for me i wanted them on season two like i knew that they don't believe me whatever they think i tried to play them whatever they're freaking crazy but i knew i wanted to do marriage and i felt like andre and erica was the perfect people to have on the podcast because first of all i knew them for very long that's number one um they're very real they 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 are very real very authentic especially with me like I, what you'll see first of all on the episode they kind of like they're very honest i think they were very honest i feel like if i had i brought another married couple up there some people i even watch it even when i watch youtube people are like oh we don't argue like we don't do this oh our marriage is perfect this is perfect oh yeah we got money we all mad happy we lit I knew they would be honest with me, number one. They're very real around me. Like, when I'm around them, one thing about Andre and Erica, even when it was boyfriend and girlfriend, anybody you ask in our friend circle, you could go on a date with them and don't feel like a third wheel. You can hang out with them and you just feel like you just hanging out with them or whatever. And they're always really real around me. Like, they will argue in front of me. They will, they will, they don't, they don't pay my black ass no fucking mind. I swear to God, they don't pay me no mind. They don't pay me no mind. I swear to God. I be coming over. They just be doing um like Andre just be watching TV. I be coming over. They just be treating me mad normal. So I knew that if I was to interview them, they would act mad regular. Even when I got there, they started with they shit. They started, they wasn't like arguing, but they was having like a little moment. And I was just smiling. I was so happy. I was like, this episode is gonna be excellent. <laughs> Just because they started like going at it a little bit before the episode. So I thought it was mad cute. And I just knew it was a good episode. It is an amazing episode. I, I want I told you guys, I don't know which on which recap I told you, but all the episodes are still strategically placed. I knew that it would be dope to close out my guest episodes with the marriage. I felt like that was a big one. I feel like when you close out a season, even though that's not the last, uh, this is not the last episode, I feel like when you close out a season or anything, you want to make sure you close it with something big. You you started off big and you ended off big. So, obviously, I open and close my own season. Self-love is just like boom, boom, boom. But when it came to the guests, I started off with Weekend Mommy and then I closed it off with Marriage. So, it was just like a play on everything like yeah we t we t like i'm trying to show y'all like we talk about everything like top of the season we talked about side chicks and then at the end of the season we talk about marriage and it just shows you like i don't know like i feel like i'm just trying to tell you like things could be good things could be bad like it could be everything like you know what i'm saying like you get a little side chick you get a little love and then you close it out like that's basically the ideology I was going for when I put Andre and Erica at the end. And I just felt like a lot of people, low key, high key, adore marriage. Like they kind of idolize it. And 
So I felt like it was a dope episode. And I feel like they're the perfect people to have up there. They've been together for dumb long. And they they making it happen. They making it happen. They definitely making it happen. You know, that's my real friend in real life. So I see them all the time. They're, they're doing excellent right now. So I love that episode. They were very, very insightful. They were... They were more insightful than I even thought they would be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I learned a lot, and I actually hang with them, and I learned a lot from them. So, if you you thinking about getting married, if you marry, even though they only been married for, what, two years, they, yeah. Like, I feel like it's a dope episode for millennial marriage and marriage in general. Like, I think they speak on a lot of things. They definitely uh, grew up fast. Like, well, we're grown, but, you know, they, they, their mind frame when you get married is you start thinking bigger and better. So, that's definitely an episode you need to watch if you ain't watch it. If you're watching the recap, I'm pretty sure you freaking watched or listened to the episode. I would hope. Because, yeah, that was good. That was a good episode. I'm excited. Well, I'm ex excited about it. It's already out. So, I'm just happy that it worked out. And like I said, go uh, follow the Millennial Overload. Um, I'll definitely guys keep you guys posted on everything. Follow me on Instagram, underscore Britscreen. Follow me on Twitter, Brit says with two S's. Subscribe, review, all that good stuff. Yes. And go watch and listen to the episode. I will see you next week <laughs> on the season finale. <laughs> The season finale is next week. Tears, tears, tears. But don't see you guys next week.